What I'd like to show you now is how to do a bleaching experiment. So let's click on bleaching. You'll see that when you click on bleaching, time series automatically turns on as do experiment regions. So in experiment regions, you have to draw the area and you have different tools to do that in which you want to do the bleaching. So I'm just going to do it here. And then uh, for the timed bleaching application, which is the simplest one, you have to decide, uh, you know, obviously in coordination with the time series, when you want to start the bleaching. So I'm going to start after two images, whether you want to set a different scan speed. And you definitely, you usually want to set it to a lower scan speed than what you're using to image. Right now we're using a scan speed of nine to image. You typically want it to go slower so that it uh, uh, delivers more laser power to the sample. And then you have to set which lasers you want to use to bleach and at what power. So I've set the 405 and 488 at 100%. Um, you can set it to stop at a certain intensity. Uh, you can, uh, you know, bleach multiple times. Um, there's, there's various things that you can work on here um, to get the bleaching so that um, you drop the intensity by the amount that you want uh, in uh, a time that makes sense for the, for the process that you're studying. So, so there's a lot of stuff that you have to do to optimize, but the basic tools are here. Uh, once you have them set up, and, and I've played around with it a little bit to make sure that this will, will cause some bleaching, you say start experiment. And so what will happen in the way I have it designed is it'll take two images and then it'll do the bleaching. And we can see here in mean ROI, the measurement of the intensity in that ROI. So you can see it's very clear that for the first two frames, everything was uh, perfect. And then it bleached quite noticeably uh, between frames two and three, which is when I did the bleaching. Right there. And here you have a measurement of intensity. And if you want to see it uh, on a, on a, uh, in a different software, you can go down here and, and export this uh, as a CSV file that you can then play around with in Excel or, or, or whatever your, your tool of choice is. Um, so that's one way uh, of doing bleaching. The other way of doing bleaching is using, instead of the time bleaching, the interactive bleaching. And I've went ahead and uh, deleted this. I turned this off so it wouldn't happen. And so now what we need to do is create a region from a graphic. So uh, this is useful if you have, say, a cell that's moving. And by the time you set it up, uh, and start the experiment, it moved outside of the region that you wanted to bleach. So let's say these cells were alive and I wanted to bleach only tips like that. Um, I, I would be in a situation where if the cell is crawling around, if I set this here, start the experiment, by the time it bleaches, this may have already moved. So you may want to do this interactively. So let's create that. Go here and create from graphic. Whoops, I seem not to have selected anything. Okay, I've selected that now create from graphic. Okay, so we have this uh, circle here, and then we're going to bleach with the 405 and the 488 at maximum power. Um, so now if we say uh, start experiment, and we have this tool, we can bleach at will wherever we want. So if I click here, you can see that I've bleached a little bit, and I can click as many times as I want and bleach interactively as the experiment progresses. So again, this is a useful tool uh, if you're in a situation where cells are alive moving very quickly and you just can't set things up in advance uh, to, to bleach or photo convert the things that you're interested in. So you can see here how that's my first bleaching attempt and then that's my second one. Um, uh, again, with, with the particular um, tool with that diameter that I created. You can obviously create other shapes and, and things to do it. So that's, a, that's another way of doing uh, bleaching that's interactive and it can be useful for some applications.